Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at how to set up the FPV simulator uncrashed. I'm going to show you all of my settings and some tips and tricks for you to get the most out of your flying experience. So it's actually super simple. You're going to need a couple things. You're obviously going to need an FPV controller. I have a DJI FPV remote, the first generation one. So I use a little USB cable that goes into something that looks kind of like that. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and that plugs straight into the PC. Once you've got your controller set in, you want to go to controls. And in controls, you want to click on this little button over here, stick calibration. If you're lucky, it'll come up with your controller over here. Um, mine never comes up correctly. You're gonna go stick calibration, and then we're gonna move our sticks around to the limit. Cool, then we're gonna center all the sticks, and we're gonna click OK. Now, everything should be working. What you wanna double check is figure out your control. So if I go roll, you can see on the right-hand side here, my right stick is moving left and right. Let's try pitch, forward, working, backwards, working, throttle on the left hand side and th um, going up and down and then you're working you will probably have some slight twitches and there will just be some interference between your controller and the usb you can change that by uplifting the dead zone on here and slowly it will go away let's see if we can get it to go away you don't want to have too much of a big dead zone otherwise you'll have basically like it says a dead zone in the middle of your controller which you don't want i found that a value that works for me is something between one and five so i'll just keep it on one for now this reset key i just have it set up on the default which is r and then flight mode so if you're just getting into fpv you probably want to start with angle mode and that will just help you it will limit it'll limit what angle your quad can go to so i'm at a point now where i'm flying acro but i would start an angle if you're just getting in to fpv and a will help you do that that's pretty much it now there's a couple things that i think you should also change before you start flying because you want this to be the most realistic experience and the same as your quad now the next thing i do is, is come over to drone settings and then you're going to change some of these settings here fpv camera angle that's totally up to you i would suggest when you're starting out start somewhere between 0 and 20 maybe 25 anything further than that is totally up to you and your preference obviously the higher camera tilt that you have the faster you'll need to go for you to be looking kind of at the horizon which is naturally what you want to look at the next thing propeller size this should be obvious to you, you either own a quad or you're planning on getting a quad pick the propeller size of the quad that you're going to own or you currently already do own motor kv this is something that will either be listed on the side of your motors or on the motor pack or the information online so if you're unsure just do a quick google search of your specific uh, motor and it'll tell you what the kv is and plug that in over here next thing battery cells you're either flying 4s 6s 2s 3 whatever it is plug in what you're um, what you're using if you're using a five inch you're probably flying four or six s and i would suggest putting that value in there then propeller pitch this is what you can find on the second half of the numbers related to your your propeller so i'll show you an example on the nazgul 5140s the second two numbers will tell you what the pitch is. So this is a four inch pitch um, and you just plug that in here. The next one, drone weight, whack your quad onto a scale and, and weigh it up. Mine weighs 800 grams, 801 grams. Um, and then you move on from there. Minimum throttle I have set at zero. The next thing, low throttle, medium throttle, high throttle. So you understand what these values are. Zero means no thrust. So that means no energy will be coming from the propellers. And then two would be double the thrust at a high throttle rate. So I have high throttle set at two. So that's double the throttle at what would be a high throttle rate. It might be a little bit too high to be honest. Medium throttle set at one because that would be halfway between the highest that can go and the lowest it can go and then i have low throttle set at point uh, point five that seems to work for me it might be different for you these settings at the bottom advanced physics i haven't really changed if you find settings that work for you please do share them down in the comments below so that we can help everyone in this community have a better experience but gravity power friction grip airspeed have all stayed exactly the same so copy these settings if they're any different to the ones that you have currently right now rates we won't get into but rates are very specific to you personal to you so i wouldn't suggest changing them to what mine are but these are the current ones that i'm flying at at the moment do i love them i'm undecided audio i haven't changed totally up to you 
graphics. This will very much depend on what you are flying. Uh, what's <laughs> you can't fly your PC. This will depend on what PC you have. My PC is pretty good, so I can put these settings on relatively high, but some things that I would definitely change on this page are the aspect ratio. You probably want to be flying on something like four by three, not 16 by nine, because you get a much bigger screen vertically for you to look at, and that will help a lot when you start flying with goggles. Then the next two things on here, FOV and lens distortion, whilst they might seem the same to you when you start fiddling around with them. What? Why am I burping? That's weird. FOV is the extent of the observable world. So in this particular game, I find that the more you adjust this, it kind of warps the outside and it only makes a small little portion kind of real. And I, I don't like that. So don't put it all the way to the top. My suggestion would be stick somewhere between 100 and maybe 130, somewhere around there. Now, how you can compensate for that is with lens distortion. Now, what I think lens distortion does is it basically mimics what the FPV camera looks like, um, but it also takes away uh, it takes away some fidelity from the image. So you don't get the best. Cool. The rest of the stuff um, I haven't really touched, but that will just be up to your personal preference. Cool. And that's it.